Hello from Oahu everyone. So first of all, I want to apologize for any birds singing or other tropical background noise because I am filming outside here in Hawaii in our condo again. I just am so happy to film out here. It's so beautiful. I have this tropical background to look at while I'm talking to you guys and it just seems appropriate given where I am and a lot of the things that I've purchased as well. So many of these things are online orders that I've completed while I was here because it is such a luxury to be able to get all of the free shipping that I don't often enjoy while I'm in Canada um, as well of course as the January sales for a lot of my favorite places to shop so the bulk of the items I'm about to show you are from Revolve which is an amazing clothing website that I've recently discovered as well of course as shoes from Kohan and um, some items as well from the Victoria's Secret sale. Let's get right into showing you all of these goodies. Recently I've been having a very romantic moment in fashion and loving everything 70s and 60s and just very romantic and especially what I mean by romantic is anything with lace, anything baby doll looking, or anything off the shoulder. This little dress that I wore to brunch and photographed on Instagram was a big hit with many of you guys. Keep in mind that many of my videos do focus on fashion for work, but with these particular items or some of them, I really just wanted to get some fun things for date nights and summer nights and especially while I'm here in Hawaii as well. Um, so a lot of these items aren't necessarily, you know, office appropriate. This dress um, definitely is not, but they are fun and very affordable as well. So I really like this off-the-shoulder detailing. It's got an eyelet lace cutout effect. It's also scalloped. So many um, fun trends going on all in one dress, but I think it all comes out looking really fresh and girlish and um, just fun. Another outfit that featured recently on my Instagram was for New Year's. So this is so awesome. This is something that I would wear in Vancouver, not necessarily in Hawaii for a really nice dinner out or something like that or for New Year's. It was just perfect. It's got built-in boning so you don't need to wear a bra with this. It does have a deep cutout so I wouldn't recommend it for an office party. Um, but for a night out with your girlfriends or something, it would be so perfect. It's actually really comfortable and really just kind of stays up because I find often with off the shoulder or strapless styles you can spend the whole night just kind of pulling it up because you feel like you're going to lose your dress. Um, but I didn't feel like that at all in this one. It's really pretty with little off the shoulder detailing again a scalloped edge going on here with the really delicate lace um, that I really like also from Revolve is this really gorgeous top this was a little bit more pricey but I've heard so much about this brand for Love and Lemons that I needed to try something out from them they also have a lot of over-the-top really girly sexy applique lace type pieces and I just felt like most of them just would not fit into my life all that well um, except for this top that I think would look really gorgeous for a spring day in Vancouver or here with some jeans um, I think it would look really gorgeous with dark denim jeans I'll show you my favorite ones in a second um, so I really love this I think the blue actually makes it quite a lot easier to wear with the strapless bra you can really rock a really pretty 70s kind of look so if you did want to try something from for love and lemons I think this is one of their more kind of accessible pieces both in terms of price and wearability for your everyday life as well really pretty bargain was this dress and the brand for this is called Lucy Paris, which I've never heard of. Again, it's still very much along the same lines, really pretty and flowy and off the shoulders. I felt like I really wanted to get a few pieces that reflected that trend because to me it's something that I will wear always when I get the opportunity to because I just think it's so pretty and girly. This one has gorgeous roses on it. It was really affordable. I like that it's black. It's a little bit so more subdued somehow than the other pieces I showed you. So if you want just something really easily wearable that you could wear to summer barbecue or for the spring topped with a nice little blazer or something like that, this would be actually quite easy to wear and really 
really pretty. So this little top was really a, such a bargain. It's from Splendid, which is usually a really expensive t-shirt brand. I actually really love the texture of this when I received it. It was different than I expected in that it's almost like a stretchy linen. It's kind of different from their other t-shirts. It feels really substantial and nice. And I would completely rock this to the office on a casual Friday. I think it would look great with some black jeans and a nice little blazer. It has a really nice flattering and expensive looking cut to it. I have a final two dresses. So this one I just love so much. I think it's so fun for a night out on the town for drinks or something like that. Um, it's quite low cut right now and I have to say when I tried this dress on off out of the box um, I kind of hesitated a little bit. It's from Lovers and Friends as well and it's definitely a little bit low cut. It basically goes down to your navel and it has a little buckle up here um, that keeps it together and then it has an open back. So to me that felt like a lot of flesh exposed especially given that it was already really short. However what I ended up deciding to do is to sew it up um, here at the front. You could also get away with wearing a tank top underneath it if you didn't want to put any work to, into it but um, sewing it up was going to just work so well because then I won't feel too exposed at the front and it'll still be a really flirty and fun dress. For the sexiest dress of them all let me just zip it up so you can see a little bit better. This is Probably my Valentine's Day dress for 2016. It is so gorgeous. Like everything else I'm showing you here in Hawaii, it must be the tropical lighting. Um, red things seem to come out a little bit pink on camera, but it's a true bright red. Um, and it's so gorgeous. It's got a really pretty rose print on it. Again, it's really structurally very well made because it has a built-in bra and corset type structure. If you don't like to feel um, restrained at all. I think you'll like the black dress that I showed you better. This one is definitely a little bit more substantial in its boning. It ends up giving you that real kind of Dolce & Gabbana, Monica Bellucci look um, when you wear it. I don't find it uncomfortable. I actually kind of like that. Um, and it was on a really good sale because originally it was way too expensive at $355. It's from the Couples, which is a really popular design brand right now and I just thought it was really gorgeous. Definitely has that um, Dolce & Gabbana or Cavalli really sexy vibe to it. Let's move on to some shoes, shall we? Okay, so if you guys watch my videos um, regularly, then you know I have a lot of shoes. I did not need these shoes, but Kohan had an amazing, amazing sale um, after the holidays ended so I could not resist. I'll see if it's still available. Then, If it is, then I will link this and everything else that I'm showing you down below. Um, so these shoes are the ones that I wore to New Year's Eve next door at the Kahala Hotel and I also wore the black dress with it so it was just a gorgeous outfit. I really loved it. These types of shoes with very little sort of substance to them have been in fashion for so long now um, and I haven't really ever gotten on that bandwagon because they're normally so uncomfortable. But let me tell you, these and then the next shoes that I'm about to show you are some of the most comfortable shoes that I own. So I really love these. I love just the craftsmanship of Kohan shoes um, compared to the price. To me, cannot be beat. They are probably my all-around favorite brand of shoes. So those ones are mostly for going out and then for the office for springtime and summer I also felt like it would be a good idea to get a new pair because so many of my summer office shoes are really worn now. So these are gorgeous kind of tan buff color. I always have perfect timing when it comes to shopping. Victoria's Secret was having their semi-annual clearance sale while I was here. So I got two new bikinis and one new sports bra. I got this one which is a gorgeous chevron with gold detailing and it can be worn strapless or with around the neck strap and that's from the Victoria's Secret brand it's got little ruffles going on on the bottoms as well super cute super girly and really flattering and then this one really knocked my socks off because I've never been kind of a huge fan of the pink brand I've just never found a lot of stuff there that I really loved I like the print on these bottoms they're kind of a tie-dye effect or it looks almost like clouds it's really subtle really pretty colors and the top is really on trend with this black 
piping and it's really really flattering I actually have another bikini from Victoria's Secret that has the black piping but I like this one from pink better and it was really really affordable even regular price um, but I managed to nab it in the sale so I really love that I love the colors of it as well for my Tuesday and Thursday kettlebell classes I got a new sports bra. It's got a really pretty pattern. It's kind of um, a honeycomb pattern with lots of different colors, which is nice because often the straps will peek out of my exercise tops or something like that. So I really like it if it's a cute one and I definitely needed a new one because I feel like whenever I go to the gym, all my sports bras are in the wash. I don't know why. It's like some kind of workout Murphy's Law. So um, that is what I got from Victoria's Secret. Those are the shoes I got. I have a few more things to show you. So I went to Neiman Marcus and they were having their second call sale. So they have one more call where it'll go on sale even more. But I didn't want to wait because I love this dress so much. And I do have a couple of weddings to go to in the spring and summer. So I thought this would be so perfect for that. It's Trina Turk, which is normally really, really expensive. Um, the original price for this was... $528 I think and I got it for $196 which is much more pal palatable. Um, I love Trina Turk's designs. Really well made. You can see the straps at the back are actually adjustable so they have buttons that you can move up or down depending on the size of your shoulders so I thought that's really smart. Um, the zipper is concealed but it has a gold little pull on it that's really pretty and it's just a really pretty fresh dress. Um, you can see it's just got such a pretty kind of watercolor neon print I normally despise neon but there's something about it in this dress that comes across really fresh and classy it's also a really pretty nice cotton eyelet lace fabric which will be really comfortable in hot or dry heat so I really really love this it fits really gorgeously um, Neiman Marcus had some amazing finds in their sale and this was my pick from that I was obsessed with the AG the Prima mid-rise cigarette style. I'll link it down below because you want this fit, trust me. It looks so good, it's so slimming, and these are the most flat out comfortable jeans I have ever owned in my entire life, which is quite something because I have jeans from all sorts of brands, some of them really expensive because both of the offices that I've been a lawyer at have casual Fridays, so I really, really have built up quite the collection of nice denim, but these ones knock everything out of the park. They're so comfy. I can't communicate to you through the camera how soft they are. They're stretchy, but they don't lose their shape. They're just amazing. So I got a dark wash one. Because of the Hawaii lighting, it's coming across a little bit lighter than it is in real life. These are a very dark wash, um, and the ones I have at home are the lighter version of this. I will link them all down below. Um, and then, because they had them and they were on sale, I also got the white ones because I am still such a fan of white jeans. Um, I think they look kind of fab if you style them in a really classic way. And I really like wearing them to casual Friday during the summer. I think it works really well with a pretty blouse. I have another couple of days here. My trip is winding its way down. I was hoping to find a few more pieces of suitwear to add to my work wardrobe. If I do find any of those, and you guys are interested in seeing that I might do a small haul when I get home but I'm still not sure whether I will find anything I'm probably gonna go shopping once more um, so you might see that coming in your subscription boxes when I get home to Vancouver but um, other than that this is definitely the bulk of my shopping while I've been here it was really nice and convenient to be able to find so many beautiful things online that way I could really enjoy my trip kind of do some shopping in the evening on my computer and not miss too much time at the beach and relaxation time so I will link everything that I can find for you guys down below if you want to see some of these outfits worn then you should check out my Instagram and subscribe so that you will see them in outfit of the day videos when I do film those very soon so thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video bye